This is Triple Chips Unbox the Box. I did an unboxing before one of these um, Mastercraft saws and it kind of crapped out on me so I went and got a new one. The other one I'll do an update on that to show you what happened. Well let's unbox this one. I got this like an tire. It uh, retails for $150 roughly. I got it on sale for $100 so let's just see what's inside the box. Well on this one too it's 7 inch, 5 amp and it's got the extension table on this one three-year warranty the table tilts 15 30 and 45 degrees uh, table size is 13 and 9 16 by 13 and 9 16 and it weighs 16 pounds 8 ounces let's just see what we get in here This isn't return because it's really well taped up. So. Cardboard. A piece of it. Your guide to put it together and for warranty and stuffs in here. Here's your extension table. Take it back. I always usually keep these for at least a couple months, if not longer. Just because they, they won't give you as much back if you don't have the original packaging for it. So, yeah, all the rest of my parts, I assume, must be inside of here. There we got her. Probably a diamond cutting blade in here, I'd imagine. Seven inch. The other, the one I featured before, is only a four inch. That's the thing for doing your angle cuts. Just simply adjust back and forth. A couple wrenches for tightening your blade on. Some other type of guard. Your guide, your guard for your blade. And they like your legs or something in here. That piece. So what that is for. So the piece you get. And a washer. So I'll read through the manual and when I come back I'll have this all put together and I'll just kind of tell you what I did. I'll catch you soon. Okay and we're back. Thought I'd uh, carry this over to another day because it was raining in the last part when I started my boxes. Got it all put together. This is where you'd put your guide if you want to do certain cuts. You go from 0 to 45 degrees and you just simply tighten that down. Simply tighten it down. You just move this back and forth. You have here also, I'll show it to you this way. You have an extension, you can just pull this out to that far. And then there's a knob down here to tighten it up so this locks out. Other features. You can move this up and down, and just tighten it with this. Inside here you got your water reservoir. 
and that's where you fill it up to that's your looks like that says minimum right there so you fill it right up to here for your water to simply drain this plug here just pulls out this comes right off you want to do other miter cuts when you have this on you can do it at different angles here if you want a certain bevel to your tile So there's where your water plug would drain out right there. On off switches right here. I don't have this plugged in at all, so don't worry. Okay, on the bottom is your cord. Got a nice place to put it all back again. So this simply just pulls all off of here. And just run it out the side. So for your cord, you got about Stand this all out. You probably got a good six, seven foot cord. I got this stench cord to plug it into after to show you guys. We're just gonna put our water plug back in. Get this back in there. Push it back. Last tight. I'm not going to actually be cutting with anything with right now, so I'm just going to show you fire up here. But that was two full cups of water, and I'm still down probably about this far. So i got to fill it up more, because maybe that'll damage the saw if not. Let's just put this piece back on. Simply just insert some like that. This moves your guide back and forth. So you can get the right measurement for your cuts. If you've got longer tiles to simply pull out your extension table like I showed you before. That's, just, that's as far as it goes out. So you can probably go up to almost like a 24 inch tile if you want. It's just your tape measure thing. I don't know if this, see if this will transfer across. Yeah, you still hold your bar here, but your measurements, you're going to have to use a tape measure some because this is going to be all out of whack. It only goes up to 12 inches on here, so you're going to have to remeasure to make sure you got the right distance. To find out more of how to put this together, it's fairly simple. I just I had to cut it short just because of the rain. It started really pouring. But just read through your manual. We're just going to give her a test run. Got the guide down. Plug it in. It's gonna stand back. Sometimes it shoots a lot of water. The water just simply drains into here, and then it's gonna feed back into the tray down underneath. So that's it for the Mastercraft tabletop wet tile saw with the extension table. These aren't on sale. They're about 150 bucks at your local Canadian Tire. On sale, I picked this one up for, I think it was a $99.99 or something like that, 100 bucks. So wait till it's on sale unless you really need one. I need one to finish off my bathroom. You want to see more of this actually being used, just go over to my Triple Chip Adventures blog. And I got to cut a couple more tiles with this. So stay tuned for that. Just switch over to my other channel. I'll have links at the end of this one. Until next time, have a great day. Happy home renovations. Log is over, chip out.